Hello friends, welcome back to another Nail It With Me. I have got to say, I'm really happy with the way that my nails are right now. I feel like they're a great length, like they look pretty healthy. Um, I'm just pretty happy with them right now and I'm excited, but I wanted to do a Nail It With Me. Um, just painting my nails. It's a Saturday night and the boyfriend has been away out of town filming a wedding. So I'm just hanging out and I figured I would hang out with you all and do my nails. I have been using this base coat with garlic from Dimension Nails for the past few manicures. I've really been liking it. I definitely think that it's helped like with the color of my nails, um, keeping them protected and things. So I definitely feel happy with this purchase. If you watched my fall oily color pass, this was the like extra that you got in the box. They send extras with the polishes and it's sun kissed in like a mini bottle. I said in that video that I didn't really like that color. And to be honest, I still don't think this is something that I would gravitate towards. On camera, it's coming up a little bit more brownie orange in person. It's kind of um, pushing towards that like uh, terracotta kind of color. And it's just not my color. Like, it's not something I would normally go for. But I put it on my um, fall swatch wheel because I just kept coming back to the swatch stick of it. So I was just really, like, gravitated towards it. And so I figured I will go ahead and try it and see how I feel about it. I... I'm going to start trying to track uh, how many polishes I wear from my seasonal swatch wheel and then I will do a video on what I actually wore for the season from my swatch wheel and we can see how well I did. If you don't know, I do a seasonal um, swatch wheel and they have like 20 spots so I do 20 polishes kind of inspired by each season and typically I just kind of do the video and then try to remember to wear those but I would like to actively track what I'm actually wearing for my swatch wheels so I think I'm going to implement that and then at the end of the season I will let you all know how many I actually wore. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to pop a picture at the end of this video of this swatch. Or I guess it will be the thumbnail so that you can see that it's not exactly coming off perfectly on film. So you know how literally everyone is um, like sponsored for HelloFresh on YouTube. I have purchased it before a few years ago. And it was great, but we did the two-person box, which, because we are two people, and the recipes were incredible. They're so delicious. I still make some of those recipes today, like the lemon pasta with the crusted chicken is one of my favorite recipes ever. Um, but the two-person box is not enough food for two people, <laughs> in our opinion. So we never ordered it again. And for some reason, I just had a wild hair last week and Nicole Guerrero was doing a vlog with them where you could get, you know, one of the various coupons. And I just had a wild hair and I was like, you know what, I'm going to order HelloFresh again. I'll do the four person box and we can see some new recipes just to try them out again. Like obviously you can go online and find the HelloFresh recipes without, um, signing up or anything and that's what I usually do but I just feel like we're in a, a bit of a food rut and I wanted to try some new meals so we picked two pasta dishes because those are my favorite and then something else what was the other thing I can't remember what the other one was that we picked but those will be coming next week so I might do like put one of them in a vlog but yeah it was um just a random wild hair so I'm excited. 
it's not expensive when you think about it like long term for us to have the three meals that we're getting but just to order it all the time seems a little crazy to me i am gonna check back because there was this um meal that nicole uh, guerrero had made in the video but they didn't have it available when i went to sign up so that was kind of disappointing but i'm gonna keep checking it out and seeing if they have that because i would really like to try that one and i guess i could just look up the the recipe too but yes we ordered hello fresh and i'm kind of excited just something different i'm hoping to do a de-stash soon um if you watch my organization video i mentioned it in that where i was just kind of putting things away from my comparison series and i just feel like i noticed during my comparison series that i wasn't loving a bunch of polishes that I've been holding on to. So there is a very high possibility that soon, um, probably before the end of October, it is the second right now, but before the end of October, I will probably do a de-stash video and I will try to do it like I did the last one where I posted the video the same day that I post the polishes because Usually I'll film it and then I wait a couple weeks or a week or so before the video is scheduled to be on my YouTube. And then I feel bad because like no one on my, my YouTube can get them because they're now currently in the past. So I will try to post it where the polishes will go up at the same time as the YouTube. So hopefully if there is anything that you are wanting, you can pop over to my um, DStash Instagram. I will link it down below if you wanna go ahead and follow. I would say there'll be maybe some China Glaze, maybe some um, uh, Zoya. I am going to get rid of some more PR. I usually do bundles for those, so just check that if you're interested in grabbing any thing from my collection that I might be getting rid of. If you have any like pasta dishes or meals that you really like, please send me an email or something with a recipe. Um, we eat a lot of like chicken, that's kind of one of the only meats that I really eat. But we eat a lot of chicken and pasta, so if you have any of those kind of recipes, send them my way. I highly, highly, highly enjoy them. Okay, wait, I kind of think I like this color. This is absurd and so not a color that I would normally choose. Uh, again, it's coming off just a touch more orangey brown than like a coral terracotta-ish color, but oh, I kind of like it. And this is a breathable. I've never tried a breathable. It says one step manicure. Was I not supposed to use a top coat? Either way, I did. So yeah, here is the look. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Let me know down below if you painted your nails with me or just what is on your nails right now.